Today's video will be about a reading that I'm going to do from my second poetry book titled X. So I'll be reading from the hardback today. If you do have a copy of this at home, it's on page 57. Remember when I went to see you in hospital, thought I'd just drop by. Hair and makeup done, dressed to the nines, ready to have fun. Walked in to see, you smiled at me. I didn't know it got this bad. Took one step forward, but feet were stuck. I turned back, you questioned why I hadn't left. What do you mean? This is all for you, I professed. Decided to spend the night. I'm glad I stayed with you. I'm thankful I played with your hair and said a prayer. You may have passed away, but I'm glad your love stayed. The people I had plans with are also gone. Their time for me didn't last much longer than the pain that left your body. Now in solitary, feeling weary, the pain entered my body soon after. The only medicine I've got is laughter. The first paragraph, remember when I went to see you in hospital, thought I'd just drop by, is essentially a statement telling the reader that I had no intention of staying there much longer than, say, half an hour. The second paragraph continues to explain why. Hair and makeup done, dressed to the nines, ready to have fun. I have plans with my friends, I'm excited to go and do whatever we were going to do, and this was just a pit stop. Walked in to see, you smiled at me. I didn't know it got this bad. Wow. Took one step forward, but feet were stuck. It's like when you have this idea of someone or something in your head, and then when you actually see it physically happen, and it's the complete opposite of what you thought, it shocks you and it really grounds you, and you sometimes don't really know how to react. Kind of like the, what is it, flight, fight and freeze? I froze in this moment. By the way, this is this is what I mean when I think in one of my previous videos I've stated that when you read poetry or an entry that you've previously written, the fact that you still feel emotional about it doesn't mean that you're not over it. It sometimes just is so powerful that it completely takes you back to the exact moment of where you were when it happened. So I'm okay. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I turned back. You questioned why I hadn't left. So it was clear from her by me not saying anything, just simply by looking at me being dressed up, having my makeup and hair done, that I was going to go somewhere else afterwards. So she questioned why I hadn't left. You questioned why I hadn't left. What do you mean? This is all for you, I professed. So the kind of banter and relationship that I had with my auntie was just that. It, it, <laughs> in a nutshell, it was pretty much like this. She was such a beautiful and lighthearted person that I felt comfortable enough to say that to her. And she definitely knew I was lying, but I vividly remember her smile and that to me is um, all I needed to know that I should stay with her. I decided to spend the night. I'm glad I stayed with you. I'm thankful I played with your hair and said a prayer. So comparing this paragraph to the beginning where it's very clear that I have absolutely no intention to stay, and me being grateful and thankful for the time that I have with her and deciding to spend that particular time that I was supposed to see my friends with my aunt is... Seriously? <laughs> Who wanted me to read this? Come on, man. <laughs> is really a complete black and white shift between me being clear that I'm only there to... I'm only visiting my aunt in the hospital for a quick pit stop before I go and see my friends later that night versus me realizing the impact and how important it is for me to be there in the moment and spend this time with her. The line, I'm thankful I played with your hair and said a prayer means a lot to me because a lot of my love languages and the way that I show love is through time, physical touch, and actually I think I'm all of the love languages, but I'm essentially just trying to play on that and the importance of that for me because I'm not just spending time because I have to be there I actually want to be there and I'm doing it through the ways that I know how to love people You may have passed away, but I'm glad your love stayed 
the way she loved people was so beyond measure it was just incredible and I think just those two lines speak for itself <laughs> seriously I don't know why I'm reading this poem <laughs> something in the air <laughs> the people I had plans with are also gone their time for me didn't last much longer than the pain that left your body. This whole entry is me discussing what I thought was initially my priority versus the shift of my reality and understanding that actually, you know what, family to me should be prioritized. Not long after this night, my aunt passed away. And not long after she passed away, I was no longer friends with the people who I had intended to spend this evening with and who I was so excited to see and again playing on the importance of time just seeing a complete shift of my priorities from the beginning of the entry closer to the bottom and the end now in solitary feeling weary so now that I feel completely isolated and alone because my aunt has passed away and my usual friendship circle has also dissipated and gone i feel alone the pain entered my body soon after so that excitement i had at the beginning of the entry slowly reality hit after seeing my aunt being unwell the moment of time that i spent with her her passing my friends leaving all that pain entered my body when i suddenly was alone the pain entered my body soon after the only medicine I've got is laughter. That line, trying to portray the sense of humour and the banter that we had going with one another. So the only medicine I've got is laughter. Through her memory and through all the moments we shared, that's all I had. What a welcome back into doing my YouTube videos. <laughs> I probably should have started with a little bit of a lighthearted one, but it's okay. I think it is also really important to face everything regardless of what impact or what emotion we will feel i do hope i did this particular entry justice this one does hold a lot of meaning to me thanks so much for watching until next time bye